Okay, here it goes. I'm going to try to get you um, some information on how to use WinLink Express using a, an older TNC like the uh, PK232 MBX or the PK88. Uh, I'm going to try to get this to work properly. Show you up the sequence. Now I've plugged it up in the back using a DB25 to 9 pin serial adapter, USB, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control panel just to verify which which um, port the there we go, I'll go to control panel right there okay this will tell me which port uh, I'm going to be using or sorry, which port the, uh, the adapter is plugged into which port this uh, right here is plugged into. So what you're going to do is you go to the device manager. Sorry again, I don't have a uh, proper mount for my camera. But this is the way it's going to go. So you go to ports right there. You go to ports. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this. There we go. Okay, so it's as soon as I plug it in, it'll tell you which port this is there we go so this one showed up and it's USB serial COM6 COM6 is the port that this USB adapter is plugged into right here so what you do next to verify we'll close that we'll close that I use a program called PuTTY it's a terminal program and I downloaded it and installed it on the computer. So now that we know it's a COM6, I go to Serial. Uh, if I can get there. And change that to COM6. This is just to verify that I'm communicating with the, T with the PKD8 or PTNC, the packet controller right here, on COM6. So I go open. See that? Go open. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on TNC. It'll go through its cycling and the baud out light is only on. Now, you see all that line of gibberish on the top? The way you get this to communicate is you hit shift 8 once or twice and it should boom right then and there. So it, right now it's communicating and as long as you get that on your TNC, whether it's the 232 or the PKD8, you're communicating, which is perfect. So I could go reset. Oh, sorry. Reset, just to verify, go back to reset. Uh, is it reset? Uh, can't remember the command now. Restart or reset? I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Reset. So then you go Shift 8 again. Boom. So we are communicating on COM port 6. So what you do is you go back to here, close your terminal program, close PuTTY. Now you go to WinLink, or your program WinLink RMS Express there, if I could find it, and let it load. Go open session. Now let's just see if it, if I go to open session, what happens? There we go. And there you go up here. It's initializing on COM port 6 and it should say ready. Initialized. Now, I got the uh, TNC hooked up to my um, O2AT using external antenna. Now if I go to start, boom, let's see what happens here. Connecting, connected,
and all the lights will go on. There we go, connected, sending, and you'll see the radio. There we go, communicating. It'll go to 1467. There we go. And then it'll sign off and disconnected. So that was using the radio part of it. What you can do is um, if you hit channel selection, it'll give you all the gateways via the radio, the, you know, the gateways, and uh, you could update it via the internet. Update via the internet or update via the radio. If you do it by the radio, so it'll do a request, it'll update the gateway list on your database in Winlink RMS. So what you do now is you close it and you will see it communicating and it'll see you'll see um, hopefully you'll see a bar graph come by sending there so it sent all that data up there and it should disconnect Again, sorry for the camera holding it the way I... And it's disconnecting. Now the uh, channel list could be updated via the radio, which I just did, or you could do it via the internet. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is the settings. If you go to settings... Oh, and this is the uh, gateway you type in. For example, I'm using LAN. So there we go. On 14507 tells you the bearing the distance and everything there LAN and these are and I use LAN 10 now if you can oh sorry I'll close that if you go to settings it'll tell you the parameters there the TNC PK232 the COM port so this is the COM port that you verify your adapter or your TNC is hooked up to mine's on COM port 6 and if you hit update, it should update it. There we go. And it'll take a bit of time and it'll say connected. There we go, ready. Ready to go. Now, the way you send a mess or an email uh, let me just see where my mouse is. Packet win link. So now if you want to send a message, what you do is you go to message, new message, and what you do is for example you want to send a message to, I'll send it to, um, let me see who I have here. Oh I have one message in, a, in the outbox. So what you do is if you type your message, you always put it in the outbox, or it always goes into the outbox. Then what you have to do is open your session and it'll send it out. Now that message that was in the outbox was the actual uh, uh, table, the uh, channel selection table. There we go, connected.